All right, and whenever you're ready. How's it going, everyone? My name is Jordan Amaral, and uh, my senior project is on Frederick Douglass. My essential question is, how can I inform the Mills community on Frederick Douglass and his history? Basically, this is just the outline of my presentation. One very popular quote by Frederick Douglass is, it is better to build strong children than to repair broken men. And that has resonated with me for uh, probably as long as I've been making this project. And I'm hoping it will somehow make its way into your lives as well. There's MLK, there's Gandhi, there's JFK. But the thing is, Frederick Douglass, he's the one who lit the flame. He's the one who basically made the biggest mark, but no one really ever talks about it. Martin Luther King, he went through segregation, he went through discrimination, he, you know, he, he went through it, man. But Frederick Douglass, he felt it firsthand. He went through slavery, which is a really big thing to go through. Like, he, none of us have gone. Frederick Douglass went through a lot of struggles, yeah, and I feel like a lot of the things that he has learned in his lifetime, we can learn that as well. Now, they may be extreme problems, but they can be applied to smaller problems today in our everyday lives. Um, during the first term, uh, that was basically just the project planning. Uh, the second term was putting together my research and the third term, I actually created a speech um, for Senior Project Day, and I thought that that went really well. It was basically just talking about Frederick Douglass and how he was a man of integrity. And then my fourth one was creating this project. Um, now, there's a lot of Fred things that Frederick Douglass didn't really know about himself. He didn't know, he knew who he came from, but he didn't really know where he came from. Um, Douglas, the last name Douglas was in addition to his original name, Frederick Bailey, but that was his slave name, so he didn't really, he wanted to create his own thing. He also didn't know his, um, his date of birth, and that's like, a, that's a privilege that I feel like everyone deserves. We all know our date of birth. He was a slave turned sl slave abolitionist, um, but he was also more than that. He was a great man, and he was also a woman's suffrage activist, and uh, he was also a, an author. Now, Douglas stood against a lot of different things in, the, in this world, but one big thing that he stood against was violence. Douglas was an avid pacifist. Um, but the thing is, every person that he's come across has almost um, protested against him. You know, uh, William Lloyd Garrison, um, John Brown, you name it. They, they didn't experience slavery, but for some <coughs> reason, they thought that violence was the answer. And Frederick Douglass, being the one who experienced slavery, he knew that violence wasn't the answer. But they disagreed anyway. Um, now, this is this is a really big thing because you know a lot of our country um, there 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 are a lot of Christians there are a lot of religious people you know we're very diverse um, but when it comes to Christianity at least back then he Frederick Douglass believed that it was a way for like an excuse for the slaveholders you know uh, they basically called them hypocrites. Um, there's a quote actually, it says, uh, Christianity was a thin veil to cover up the crimes which would disgrace a nation of savages. And that slavery would prevent slaveholders from loving as Christ loves. Uh, this is a picture, and uh, there are more, of my uh, speech at Senior Project Day. Um, unfortunately, I do not have a video because what to do, surprise, not a lot of people not use technology, uh, which I didn't know. Um, and 
basically overall, I think that pro this whole project went well because, you know, I feel like I was able to utilize a lot of the time. This was for the speech though, you know? Um, but things that I could have done better is, with this project right here, this final presentation, I feel like uh, it was a little bit rushed. I feel like I was, didn't come properly prepared. Um, what I've learned though is that I, I've learned a lot about myself and the people around me and that as perfect as you want it to be, you're not gonna be able to, no one's perfect and you're not gonna be able to view them as perfect. And Frederick Douglass, he saw through everyone, you know? So I think that he would be a great guide in, in our lives. <coughs> um, I have some advice for rising seniors. Uh, when it comes to your senior project, you, you wanna get creative. You, you wanna do what no one else has done or will do, and basically just let your imagination lead the way. Imagination is really all you have. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Bigelow, Mr. Caulfield, uh, Ms. Morrow, uh, and I'd also like to thank Colin Christie. I'm sorry, Colin. <laughs> Colin, uh, Colin Streck, because um, he gave me some final pointers uh, when, it, when it came to my speech. Uh, and I'd also like to thank Mr. Craven, definitely, because uh, he was my mentor through all of this. He was he, an avid historian, so I kind of, I feel like he's the only person you can really look for. And then I want to thank everyone who uh, has supported me the past four years as well, because, you know, I wouldn't have made it without you guys. <laughs>